Hey, so I recently found a video on how to make a video like Markiplier and PewDiePie have. And that got me thinking, how can I do that with a VTuber? Because as you know, I don't like showing my face very often. And this is kind of ugly the way it looks like right now. So how do I make it look from this to something like this? Well, stick around, I'll show you. Alright, so first things first, you're gonna have to set your OBS up like I have here. So yeah, two 1080p, 1920 by 1080p screens at once. So if, in order to do that, you have to click on your settings button down here, or if you can't find that, go to file, settings. Then in the video output, you click on this box and you type in 3840 by 1080. Make sure the aspect ratio is 32 by 9. Then in the output scaled resolution, you put in the exact same resolution and put it 32 by 9. And then click apply and then OK. So then you will, it will look like that. So I don't know which program you use. I personally use VC Face and I already set it up. So I, uh, I, I inserted the scene here. And this is what it looks like. It will probably look like this or underneath your recording software, recording monitor. So you just got to move it over and make sure it lines up alongside with the right, the right hand side. Now, the problem I found is that um, the black box out that surrounds your, your VTuber model you cannot get rid of that because it's black box as far as I know. So one way I personally got rid of that is to open Krita or any paint software, paint.net, Photoshop, whatever, which under you go Gimp even, which everyone you feel more comfortable with doing using. Make a new file. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty because you need it needs to it needs to match the, the, the canvas behind the your model. And click click create. And make sure it's a bright green, like a green screen colored, um, green screen colored green. And all you gotta do is fill it, fill in the canvas with that green. If you don't know what the um, hex value or color or what green screens looks like for whatever reason, I went on Google and I found a really good um, reference. So that's something that you can do. And you gotta export it. Make sure you can name it whatever you want. I already have one here. It's called green screen. Make sure you. This is really important. Make sure you save it as a PNG image. Otherwise, it won't go transparent. So I already did that. And now in my OBS, I'm gonna press the plus button. And I'm gonna press image. I'm going to name this green screen. Or name it whatever you want. An image file. This is wherever um, you saved your image. So I saved mine on pictures, thumbnails, green screen. And press OK. So it's going to default to the left hand side of the screen. You need it to go to the right hand side of the screen. Make sure it fits. And it does. But um, one other issue is that your VC model or VTuber model has disappeared. Well, in order to do that, you have to drag this, you have to drag your image source below the VTuber source, and that's exactly how you do it. So that's step one. All right, once you've got that, you have to open your editing program of choice. I personally use DaVinci Resolve. And it's going to look, I'm going to move my OBS to my second monitor now. It's going to look like this. I already have part of the tutorial working on already so I'm going to double click on the Untitled Project and this is what will pop up. It'll, it, for me it defaults to the cut um, the cut thing the, the cut tab. If you have a, a thing that pops up saying you know um, do you want to change your source whatever leave it as this. leave it as the source from the file if that makes sense I don't remember what it looks like. I don't think I can 
Um, Project set settings. So make sure the timeline resolution is 19 by 1080. Timeline frame rate is 24 or whatever your game is or whatever. And yeah, make sure that, that that's like that. So now you're going to have this. I personally like going to the edit thing first and then putting in my, uh, my file. So I am going to this, this menu pops up saying change, change project frame rate. So I, I like pressing don't change, but again, it's up to you. So I'm going to bring this in to the edit program and it's going to look like this. Pretty garbage, right? <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I do and what I've learned from tutorials myself. And I'm going to um, just show you. So first of all, you, you only have one file for the two screens, right? How are you supposed to move or edit or whatever, do whatever you want with the, um, with the VTuber model if the, if there's only one file. So what I do is I make sure that I left click on the blue bar. I right click and press copy. I'm going to move this up one. So now it's on video two. And on the blank canvas here, I'm going to right click, press paste. So what that does it, it, is it adds a source for adds a source for um, your VTuber model and adds a source for your um, video. Sorry, I'm blanking for some reason. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to disable the chat video too because I don't need it right now. Um, and I'm going to press video one. And so it probably looks like this. You have your mixer, which mixes things audio wise. You don't need that. Metadata, you don't need it. Inspector, inspector is what you'll need. It has vid video, audio, effects, transition, image, and file. Most of these will be blurred out, but what you will need is the video tab. Um, to start off with, uh, these two are linked. I like linking them because it makes it a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> uh, so I just hold left click and I drag to the right to increase it and drag to the left to decrease it. There's also an arrow beside it that shows you if it's going up or down, but you can also see in the preview if it's going up or down or right, zooming in, zooming out. So, I like, I'm still experimenting with mine. This may change in the future, but I like to set mine at around two. Because 1920 by 1080 times two is 30, 30, 440 or whatever it is. So now it's zoomed in and there's two, two scenes. So you have to rot position it from the X all the way over, same same way as you would with zooming in. Just make sure it's lined up properly with with the file with the with the preview, and you press. Make sure it's. I like keeping around nine sixty one to nine sixty five. That seems to be the sweet spot for me. Now, if I. Um, disable this track is going to be exactly like that. So I am going to keep on, I'm going to keep that disabled until we find a green screen. So I'm going to just scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub. Sounds funny. There. But I'm other issues that use model that First below the US. There, right there. Um, so what I can do is to enable this, add in a cut by pressing S, and then pressing D to disable this, this, uh, this part. So now if I go back, it's still disabled, but if I go to the cut, it's going to be the exact same. So I'm going to disable the video track to one, 
press the little blue bar that has not been disabled from video two, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to zoom in to two, to two, if I can do it properly. And I'm going to do the opposite here. I'm going to move the position on the negative X axis until my VTuber is completely in the frame. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to crop. So 959 to 965 again is going to be more than fine. Now, I like, you're going to change the zoom later on, so we'll do that later on. But if you just leave it like this, it doesn't look good. So you have to crop it to the left, make sure, uh, because it's a big, a long video from the left, you have to make sure it's, it's all the way almost up. And then crop it to the right, make sure it looks decent. You know, top, crop it to the top, and that, that looks good. Now, this looks good on preview, but if I um, if I bring this to the video, if I do this, I don't know if I do this, it's gonna look exact exactly like that. So all I gotta do is zoom out, position it in the corner or wherever you want your VTuber to be, and then move it down down here, and maybe increase the zoom. Maybe mess, mess around with your settings. So, you may be wondering, how do you get rid of the green screen? And it's, I swear to God, I was researching this all day yesterday. All day yesterday being October 18th. Uh, on October 18th, I spent all day researching this, and I could not find an answer. So I was like, okay, whatever, I'm going to give up and just deal with it tomorrow. So I'm doing it today, and I found a video, thank God. <laughs> I'm basically relaying what he's going to do in this video. Um, and it works wonders, for now. I don't know if it's going to work in gameplay, but it will work I, in like something like this. So what you have to do is, you see these tabs down here, right? So you click on... Fusion tab. Uh, first, actually, make sure that the tab that the scene or video you want is uh, enabled. And well, first enabled and two uh, selected. So you can't select this uh, this video down here. You have to select the video that you want, and then click on uh, Fusion, and this pops up. Now. If you've ever used Blender or anything that requires nodes, you will be right at home here. It's pretty much the same thing. Just think of instead of like 3D modeling, processing stuff, just think of it as um, video editing. Um, so what you can do is right click and you'll find this, op this like right click anywhere on here. You'll find this and there's a add tool and there's a whole bunch of stuff here. I don't know what they do, to be honest. So in order to search, like in Blender or whatever, you, you hold shift and you, well first you, cl you click media in one, hold shift and you press space bar. And the select tool thing pops up and you can type in whatever you want in that box. I'm gonna type in key and there's a whole bunch of different chroma keyers, different keyers, keyframes, luma keyer. This all has to do with color, but the one you want is delta key and you press add. And if you want, you can press these two buttons down here. Or, yeah, put that button down there, that button there. And it's, it's, I swear, this is dead simple. Every time you want to do this, it's dead simple. You click on the Delta Cure uh, node, and there's a background color, and there's a eyedropper tool. You click and drag to the background you want removed and let go and I swear it's that simple now you'll see that it is that is there and exactly it will be there so that's step one it will be there the entire time how cool is that <laughs> 
So yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching, and you can do other effects like zooming in, zooming out, whatever, flipping, rotating, anything you can do with the video program, or the, anything you can do with the video source in the editing program, you can do with this model, and I love that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.